Hello and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll recap a busy weekend for the Ferris State Bulldogs as Bulldog Hockey had a big weekend up at Michigan Tech and the Ferris State basketball teams with a home sweep here at Jim Wink Arena. We'll start first, though, with Bulldog Hockey, joined by Head Coach Bob Daniels. Coach, welcome uh, back to the show. Good to be back on, Rob. Thank you. Good to be back at home, I'm sure. First of back-to-back -back road trips to the Upper Peninsula as you took on a, a very good Michigan Tech team this past weekend. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it, we were obviously at Tech in, in Houghton, Michigan this weekend. Uh, this coming weekend, we head back to northern Michigan. I guess if we'd have been on break, we could have just stayed right up there. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but yeah, Tech is a very good hockey club. And, and uh, you know, we felt like uh, it would be two close games. We've been involved in close games all season long. Uh, uh, watching the video, we had a chance to watch Tech down at the GLI. We were very appreciative of the type of team that they have, but we felt like we could match up pretty well with them. As we go to some of the highlights, we'll start with uh, Friday's game. Both of them ended up uh, two to one scores, and both of them uh, tight contest that went down to the wire. Yeah, it, it was, and and uh, so I don't know that uh, on either night anyone jumped out. Maybe they jumped out to a two nothing lead at one point, um, but. You know, the, the story I thought the first night was both goaltenders. Uh, even though the game ended up 2-1, to one, there was, uh, you know, quite a few shots on, on both nets, quite a few scoring chances. I did think as a whole our team played very well defensively. And, and when we led some chances in, I thought Roni Selman King has had a really strong weekend. Outshot him here uh, the first night, 31-30. to 30, And uh, scoreless first period here is uh, both teams uh, really trying to get into a, a rhythm here uh, in, in the contest. Yeah, it, it was. And, and uh, you know, the... Uh, the Nice thing about when you get it down, you could see that one hit two posts and the guy missed a half empty net. So sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But, uh, you know, we did exactly what you want to do when you're on the road. We, in both nights, we, we took the crowd out of the game. And, and that, uh, you know, early on, it's, it's a very difficult place to play in. They've got big crowds there, great, uh, great band. And, uh, you know, by the time we hit the middle of the second period, though, it was pretty quiet in there. We got a couple goals uh, here early on in the second period. A uh, couple goals about five minutes apart, and gave him a two to no, two to nothing lead before uh, you were able to rally back and get a goal. Yeah, I felt bad for uh, Roni on their uh, uh, when they scored their second goal right there. We we put that in our own net. Um, it was a shot that really I think the guy kind of whiffed on a little bit, and it was going wide. And our guy reached out his stick and actually redirected it right into our own net. Here you see a great play by Marshall Moist to get us to two to one by taking that puck to the net and. Uh, Marshall had a fairly strong weekend. He ended up, uh, you know, he took a five-minute major on Saturday, though, and that really, you know, hurt the team, although we were able to come out victorious. Did well uh, here in this opening game, uh, no penalties, and uh, able to shut him down on uh, on the the penalty kill, I guess, when, when you have no opportunities. That's the best way of saying it. We, 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 I, I don't remember. I'm sure I've coached in a, in a game somewhere along the line where there was no penalties called but I, uh, on our team, but I don't remember that, and I was really excited that, you know, it's been something we've been trying to uh, lower our penalty minutes, play more discipline, and as of late, we've really done a great job of it. And to go a whole night without one penalty, I thought was uh, superb. Got the uh, setback uh, there the first night, but a close contest. Uh, maybe what were some of the keys going uh, from, from Friday night to Saturday night to try to turn the result around? I think when we watched the highlights there, if you paid really close attention, many of the chances at the beginning of the game uh, were going for Tech, and we had to make an adjustment uh, to try to slow them down in the neutral zone. Um, we felt like their line rushes, they were getting good possession in our end of the rink. Um, and we wanted to have to force them to dump it in rather than uh, possess the puck as he came in over the blue line. So that was probably the biggest thing. We, we couldn't make any changes on the penalty kill because we hadn't been on it. So I was kidding with Coach Kaufman who runs our penalty kill. I said, well, are you going to make any changes tonight? And he just started laughing. So uh, it was good. It was a good game, though. I'm sorry we lost, but obviously, but I was really happy with the guys. We felt very confident we could win on Saturday. Came back as we go to the highlights of Saturday's game, and uh, guys certainly responded. Got another uh, great goaltending effort from Rony Salomon Kangas. We really did, and he played exceptional. Both goalies did all weekend long. I mean, if you look at the shots uh, on target uh, for the weekend, they were almost identical for both teams. It was, it's really a very, very close matchup. And now the nice thing, we're going to face Tech again in two weeks at our rink, so we'll be familiar with them, they'll be familiar with us, and uh, I wouldn't doubt that those two games will be very close as well. 
Hunter went uh, there on the highlights, uh, gave you the first goal and got the initial lead, and nice to jump out to the early lead here in this contest. It was, and I don't remember the last time we had a lead, and we talked about that going into the game. We, let's play with the lead at some point here, guys. And uh, the, the, the goal that uh, Hunter scored was really a great feed by Zach Yoder to set him in on a breakaway. Here we got a great chance. I think Justin McElaine maybe held on to that just a little too long. I almost prefer guys on a two-on-one just to shoot, you know, and then if, if there is a rebound, they they other guy has a, a crack at kicking it in. How important was it to, to get this win uh, here in this contest as you try to fight for position in the WCHA? Well, you know, we're making a push for the playoffs, and, and uh, we try not to. There's a great save right there by Rody uh, Selman Kangas, but we try not to dwell so much on, you know, where we're at in the standings as much as how do we improve. And, and you know, we just take it each, you know, it's an old cliche, but, you know, one game at a time. Um, continue to try to improve. It was good to get on the winning side of things. It'll make practice that much easier this week. Actually uh, able to hold on to that one to nothing lead going into the, the third period. And uh, as Michigan Tech, uh, you, you figured would do it, would make a push uh, here in the third. Yeah, that was probably the save of the game. I, I think they did score like right here. This is like 30 seconds after uh, Roney made such a big save. So now it's even. This is a great play, about four minutes to go in the game. Uh, we bang home the rebound, uh, Justin McCallion did right there. And it was a great move by Liam, though, to spring himself and get in all alone. Now it was a matter here in the last three minutes of the game once we took the lead is, is holding the lead. Yeah, obviously, uh, you're able to hold on to it uh, here going down the stretch uh, as you get the 2-1 to -one victory. And uh, nice to open up uh, this two-game swing to the Upper Peninsula with a, with a win. Yeah, well, you know, we've, we've played pretty well as of late. We've played well on the road, Rob. So... Uh, it doesn't really concern us when we play it on the road. We, we've, many of our wins have come on the road. So uh, Northern, it will be another very, very good team, uh, WCHA team. I believe they're in third place in the league right now, number 15 uh, in the nation. So it'll be a test, uh, but we look forward to it. Obviously, after uh, you take on Northern Michigan, you get a bye week. Uh, how important will that be to have that bye week going into maybe the final stretch of the year? Well, the importance is going to be getting a few more guys back from injury. We were really lucky. I, uh, at two weeks ago when we lost transit on the Saturday game, I never thought he'd be back the following weekend, so that was a, a real plus. It was good to get Cole Norris back in the lineup, and it looks as though we got a good chance of getting Lucas Finner back this weekend, and also uh, uh, Dallas Tulik, um, and as well Austin Shaw. So we're getting guys back. The one we're not going to get back is Ethan Stewart. Um, you know, he's out for the year. He, he broke his leg, had surgery on Friday, and so it, it'll be midsummer probably before he hit, hits the ice again. What will be some keys for your team going up to Northern Michigan to try to get uh, some points uh, this weekend? Well, I'd like to see us continue to play the good, solid defensive game we are. If you look at uh, lately, we're keeping teams at a less, generally uh, on average, less than 30 shots a night. Um, two weeks ago, we held uh, Fairbanks to 19 shots one game, 21 the next. And so our goals against are going down, our, our shots against are going down. And if we could continue to play good defense, this is the time of the year where you can win a lot of games through good, solid defensive play. Well, Coach, congrats on the win, and uh, best of luck. Safe travels back to the Upper Peninsula this weekend. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. we got a seat open for you. <laughs> we'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.